In this lesson, we're talking about estimating length and area. We're going to look at a few problems and different situations that you might see in your workbooks or textbooks. So the first one says, choose an appropriate customary unit of length for estimating each measurement. So customary units, that's talking about the standard units we use, use in the United States. So if we're talking about length, we're talking about feet, yards, inches. Things that we are not talking about would be centimeters, millimeters, kilometers, okay? So we're talking about customary units of measure. So the length of a fish, okay, so what would we talk about measurements of fish in? And I would say usually we're probably talking about fish in inches, right? You could say feet, but that might that's getting pretty large. So if you're out deep sea fishing and you're catching sharks or sturgeon or different things that, like that, yes, feet, is that's going to be your best bet. But for the majority of us, we're fishing in ponds and catching, you know, bluegill, which are not going to get real large. So inches would be my best guess, depending on which type of fish you're going for. Number two, we're talking about the length of a semi-truck. Okay, semi-truck. I would probably say the best type of measurement for that is feet. Now, the reason I would choose feet, well, most semi-trucks, if you actually look on the side, they have a 53 on them, and that's the measurement of their uh, of the trailer in feet. So that's why I'd say feet. You could probably make a strong argument for yards as well, right? They'd probably approach nearly 20 yards. So, so yards or feet, those ones are both going to be pretty good lengths to estimate the length of a semi-truck. For this next one, they might ask you estimate, you know, a certain segment in inches. And so what I'd, I'd do for this is I'd kind of like look at it and say, well, if I'm estimating maybe, maybe about that as an inch, right? Maybe that is another inch, right? If I'm saying I can kind of break it down in what I think an inch is, and I think that's about three oh, inches. Right, I think that's about three inches. For number five, a uh, similar thing. I think probably about this is an inch. But if I'm estimating and they want a whole number, I'm going to say what's well, closest to one inch. Right? So I've got three inches. I've got one inch. So we've got ones. These are asking us to show what would be the best term of measurement to use. For this one, just using our estimating skills, we've worked with inches for years, hopefully, so you kind of have an idea of what an inch should work or should look like. Number six, this one, we're estimating the area of each shaded region, right? A length is talking about just from point A to point B. Area, we're talking about, right, you know, square units. So we're talking about something that's not just from here to here, it's covering a, a portion of our paper. Okay, and estimating the area of each shaded region. Each square represents 16 inches squared. Notice how we label area, inches squared, because we're talking about uh, just that, square inches, right? Or whatever type of measurement it is, is referring to, okay? So, if we look, and hopefully you can see these on the screen, right? You could do any, any type of, of counting strategy or marking strategy, right? You could go through and say, all right, well, that's one full unit. There's a second, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, right? You could go through, okay, there's, well, there's twelve full for sure, you know, um, let's say this one right here, these two, let's add those, that's thirteen. Let's say, let's combine these three to make 14, 15. Let's combine, you know, maybe this one and, and some of these. That gets us to 16. You know, and let's say these three are two more, so 17, 18. So we're using estimation, right? You're, you're trying to approximate, say, I think if we rearranged everything and we're able to fill boxes in completely, I'm estimating that there are 18 right units squared there okay but they've already told us that each unit 
represents actually 16 inches squared. So how we find out how many inches squared this would be is we multiply. We get 6 times 8 is 48. Carry the 4. We get 108. And then we get 18 right there. And we get 288 inches squared. Now if you were following along and you tried this, you might have get, gotten a, a different answer or slightly different answer. Maybe your estimation was 17, right? Maybe your answer was 19. The goal here, you're not going to get a precise answer, right? We're using estimation. We're getting a close answer. Now, if you answered like 200, or your answer was 150, or is 500, those are all really far off. But there is some give and take when we're working with estimation. So don't forget, when you're labeling, put it as inches squared or whatever term it is. If they don't give you a, t a unit to use, then what you would do is just simply write 288 units squared. But if they give you one like inches or feet or yards, use those measurements.